guys. I'm gonna try something new. I hope this works. I can actually be able to teach you. So I'm really excited. I hope this works. All right, so today for math, we're gonna be comparing, still comparing fractions greater than one by creating common numerators or denominators. This is exactly what we've been working on. Some of you seem to be okay with it. Some of you, or I should say a lot of you, are still really struggling with this. But I'm gonna show you a new method today and I hope it changes your life. Hopefully you will be like, why didn't you show me this to start with, Mrs. Harris? Okay, but first let's do a little fluency. So we're gonna use a number bond to separate seven fifths into a mixed number, into a whole number and a fraction. So remember when we do that, you are pulling out fifths, five fifths. So when we pull out five fifths, that equals one whole. How many fifths are left? Two fifths are left. So our seven fifths is equal to one and two fifths. Okay, let's do the same thing with nine fourths. How many fourths make one whole? Four fourths. So when we pull out four fourths, that leaves us with five fourths. We'll notice five fourths is greater than four fourths, so we can pull out another four fourths here, which leaves us with one fourth left over. So that's one, two, and one fourth. All right, one more, 11 thirds. I'm gonna move over here. So again, pulling out our whole numbers. So three thirds make one whole. That leaves us with eight thirds. I still can pull out three thirds again. So let's do that. There's our three thirds, which equals one whole. Now I have five thirds left. Not quite there yet. One more number bond, hopefully. Pull out three thirds equals one whole. Leaves me with two thirds this time. So that gives me one, two, three, and two thirds. Okay, now next screen, we're gonna be doing the opposite. We're gonna go from um, mixed number to an improper fraction. Okay, it did not switch for me. Oh, there we go. Okay, now we're gonna go from one and a half and we're going to change it into an improper fraction. So I'm gonna go ahead and let them show how they did this. So they pulled their one into two halves plus their one half, which equals three halves. Okay, so if we do the same thing with one and two thirds, one and two thirds, our one equals three thirds plus our two thirds equals five thirds. Okay, then two and one fifth. Well, two would be how many fifths? Well, five fifths is one whole. 10 fifths is two whole. So 10 fifths plus one fifth equals, oops, 11 fifths. Okay. Let's look at the application problem. It says Jeremy ran 27 laps on a track that was one eighth of a mile long. Jimmy ran 15 laps on a track that was one fourth of a mile long. Who ran farther? Pause, try it on your own, and then unpause. All right, here we go. Let's look at, oh, let me go back. Sorry, didn't mean to click that. Okay, so that means that I need 27 1 8 Well, if I add 1 8 plus 1 8 27 times, how many eighths is that gonna be? Because remember, my denominator, I don't add my denominators, I only add my numerators. Well, if I add that 27 times, that's gonna equal 27 eighths. Okay, now Jimmy ran 15 laps at one fourth of a mile for each lap. So again, when I add all those up, it gives me 15 fourths. Well, I can't compare these right now because they don't have the same numerator and they don't have the same denominator. But, well, I'm gonna look at my numerator first. Can I multiply 15 times anything to equal 27? 
I can't, but can I multiply four times anything to equal eight? Yes, I can multiply times two. So I'm gonna multiply this times two, and whatever I do to the bottom, I do to the top. So my equivalent fraction is 38. So now when I compare them, I'm comparing their numerators. Well, 27 is less than 30, so that means that Jimmy, even though he ran fewer laps, he ran farther. Okay. All right, I'm gonna pause this video to see if it's working, and then I'll do, if it's working, I'll do my teaching video on another one, okay?